Hi guys, Chris again. And in this video, what I wanna talk about is why some older GPUs are still usable and other older GPUs are not. Um, so this is one of the best examples that I can dig up. Let's see if I get that real close for you guys. There you go. So this is a gorgeous GPU. It's got a full metal cage, full metal backplate. This is one of it, this is one of the fastest Kepler GPUs that were ever made. This probably outperforms some of the like Titan cards, for example. Uh, this is a GTX 780 uh, Wind Force. It is Wind Force uh, Gigahertz edition. Um, so this is the fastest version of the 780 non TI that Gigabyte made, uh, and this is a perfect example of. <clears throat> the fact that some of these GPUs are missing one feature that would make it so you could use upscaling, you could use frame gen, and that's higher level DX12 support. So these have a basic level of DX12 support. There's some DX12 that this can do, but the features that allow um, uh, upscaling to work, so like AMD FSR and uh, an AMD FSR like 3.0, um, upscaling will not work on this. If you try to activate those features, you'll just get a black screen. Uh, you, like your map, like your UI elements will show up, like your mini map up in the corner. And if you hit escape, your menu will pop up, all of that'll pop up, but game graphics will not because this does not support those features that you're trying to use. Uh, AMD cards from this generation do. And that is the, in my opinion, the thing that, that, that separates um, useful, when I say useful, I mean able to play modern games today, at least at a low level, and uh, cards that are only good for collecting, such as how I do, or um, they're only going to be used for period-specific things where you're only trying to run games that they could run. Um, whereas, like I said, some of the more useful ones, you can run games that they were never intended to run from, like, today. So anyway, I hope you guys find this useful, and thanks for watching the video.